welcome to School of Hustle, the show where we are celebrating and finding inspiration from people who are making their own way. Today, we have Sufia Hossein, founder and CEO of Silly Chili Hot Sauce. I think you have such a fantastic background because you did not start as a chili sauce maker. No. Tell me about how you got to where you are today. Sure, so I went to FIT, fashion school, and my whole background is in fashion. If you look through my resume, there's, I never even work at a restaurant. Um, about two years ago, I kind of started making hot sauce and at home, uh, out of my apartment in Hoboken. And uh, it just journey just started from there. And I used to go to farmer's market and pick up peppers, bring it home and started just making. And it was so bad, guys. Like it was disgusting. <laughs> Like I made it and I just poured it down the drain for the three months. Like it was just bad. But you know, when you are very uh, consistent and you just want to learn. So that was my thing. I want to learn. Like I was like, I'm just going to get this puppy right. So I just kept doing and doing and making. And then it was just getting better. And then one of my coworker at Gap, she wanted to buy uh some of my stuff and I was like wow you're gonna pay me for it like you would pay me for something that I made so that was like my first sale in my entire life because I never made something and I sold it so that feeling I will never forget did you grow up loving hot sauce what was it that set you on the path I still to this day I still don't know it was like a calling for me like I was making it and I just felt good and the part felt good was like I was working with the farmers like I would buy stuff directly from them and and just bring it home and make it so that was the part I really enjoyed and that kind of escalated to what I'm doing right now. From what I understand, you are very thoughtful about where you source your peppers. Yes. I yeah. consider myself uh, as the bridge between the farmers and the consumers. Everything that I source, everything I use in my bottle to make my sauce is comes directly from the farmers. Uh, so as I grow, as I grow my company, and the farmers I'll be working with, more farmers will be working side by side. So this is actually a social movement for me, a uh, lot more yeah. than uh, just making hot sauce, uh, being in business, but it's, it's, a, it's a social movement for me. And uh, I'm an activist entrepreneur, you know, I yeah. wanna like uh, help them and I wanna like, that's what keeps me going. I want to break down the bottle. We've talked a lot about the inside and we can see that there's such thought into the, the quality of the ingredients and the support of the farming community. But I actually just want to look at, at the bottle. Yeah. So the bottle is really pretty, which does not surprise me because you have a background in fashion. In fact, there's a very chic, fashionable woman on the bottle with a beautiful little dog. Tell me about where this design came from. I love this. So it's basically, um, that's my dog, Mushroom, right here. Uh, she's a Chihuahua. And, and that's like a little bit taller and skinnier version of me that I picture myself. <laughs> I know uh, it's very uh, unusual uh, logo uh, for a hot sauce company because uh, all the, most of the hot sauce companies out there has like a skull, a little bit scary photos, and those things scares me. I'm very soft inside. <laughs> like I know, I know I, I like spicy food, I'm making hot sauce, but you know, I'm, I'm soft. <laughs> what advice would you have for people who are trying to start out? It's, it can be so scary and it can be so daunting to start a business and you're dumping hot sauce down the sink and making a recipe but you're making a joke and you're laughing. What advice do you have for those people who just don't have that same positivity that you do? Just, you said, positive mindset. Okay. Uh, if you're out there trying to uh, build something or uh, make your uh, idea come true, you just have to keep at it. 
right? So it's an unknown path. Like two years ago, I left my job to pursue something that I have no background in. What it was, it's like my gut feeling that I want to do this. I want to pursue this. Like that's my mission, that's my calling. And I think for everyone out there, you have to find that before you invest a lot in it. Can you tell me about that value that you find in your hot sauce every day? Sure, I felt that I lost kind of my purpose. Like it wasn't, whatever I was doing, it wasn't, there wasn't any fulfillment there. You know, at that time, I didn't know what it was. You know, I was like, mm, maybe just, just normal to feel this way. But when I kind of started making hot sauce, working with the farmers, as I like, diving into it and it felt like wow um, I used to listen to their stories and and they get paid like so little for the amount of hours they put in listening to them and working with them and it felt like I'm actually doing something it felt I felt there was like a fulfillment inside like you know there's like the purpose of it now I feel like I have my purpose I found my purpose I found my calling and uh, it feels good. It feels good to know that. Who do you most look up to as a symbol of success? My aunt, uh, she, we're not even blood related. She's a wife of my uncle and she does so much. Like growing up, I'm, I watched her doing so much for the community selflessly and, and one thing she would always say that you know look for peace you look for that peace you know like internal peace i didn't know what she meant i was like Phew, peace i just want a designer wear bag designer wear shoes like party it up you know like all the vacation like but as i'm growing older success to me is like it's like i'm, I'm looking at it and i was like wow like i when I wake up peacefully, now that I wake up very peacefully, that I have a purpose, like, that's success. I love what you just said about finding that peace within. But I also know that you have a killer product and you, you are going to hit that one million customer. Yes. And I, I'm curious, when you pace toward that, what do you do to stay on top of trends? What makes you excited in your space? What are you doing to get to that million customer? I have to uh, hit that million customer because only that way I can make an impact, <laughs> you know? Right now, the millennials, uh, they love eating healthy food. Yeah. People are more conscious about what they're putting into their body. I, so, I agree with you. I'm not a millennial, but I, I am thinking about what ingredients are on the package all the time yes that excites me a lot like finally people are paying attention to yeah. what they're putting into their body it's not only me it's a, there are a bunch of food entrepreneurs out yeah. there trying to bring in healthy food uh, natural food it's it's back to basic how many ingredients are in your pro product on average I would say I use real pepper I don't even use frozen pepper uh, pepper, organic apple cider vinegar, uh, sea salt, oil. It's like four to five. Yeah. Four to five. Yeah. Uh, and garlic, onion, actually like six. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. And how, how do you think about developing new products? Because I understand that you have a very new, very hot mm -hmm. habanero sauce. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Yeah. How, what went in? I dare you. Innovating, <laughs> innovating. I mean, the bottle alone is a, is a lot smaller. So we, we know that something's spicy in here. Yeah. But tell me about when you come up with a new product, uh -huh. what is it that you think of to, to stay ahead of the trend and to ensure that you're innovating enough? So my first uh, mission is uh, to make it flavorful, not right. only healthy, of course, use all fresh ingredients and like make it flavorful for people to yeah. actually enjoy. That's how I get all my returning customers because they miss that flavor. So, Taste yeah. matters. Yes. It yes. does. Yes. So 
So guys, she's uh, trying the, the super duper hot uh, Silicilli hot sauce, which is habanero, is the hottest one I have in my collection. All right. Careful. You ready? You're in, you're in white. Be really careful. Yeah. Someone get her milk. So do I just lick it, or do, should I like just a well, tiny? Do I want you're this whole thing? You're supposed to eat it with uh, food, but yeah, go ahead. I could get a chip brought in. She just kind of. She's doing it. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> It's good. It's it has flavor, but wow, that that's hot. I I like spicy food. Like I, I love shishito peppers, and I'm the person at the table that just hopes that I get that really hot pepper because there's always like one in every uh -huh. bowl, and I love it. And sometimes I've had that hot pepper, and it is nothing compared to this habanero hot sauce. What is one thing? that you still need to learn? I would say have more patience. Learn, learn to have patience. Learn to have make patience. Yeah. Because in entrepreneurship, uh, it's not easy. If yeah. we're pitching to 100 stores, we get um, probably rejected by 80, or some people don't even reply. So it's very hard to like constantly like trying and then get those no's and I'm I'm getting my thick skin now but I feel like I still need to work on it. I would love for you to tell us what is the best piece of advice that you have ever been given? Someone in my family friend who's also an entrepreneur told me that um, always pay your suppliers, your vendors on time because you build your relationship, your reputation um, from it. It's a relationship business, is what this is all about, right? Yes, it is. Uh, it is. And you're uh, relying on farmers and, and people with the bottles and the labels. And you yes. all are working together in concert yes. to make really like this, this dream exist. Right, right? exactly. Thank you so much for that conversation. I want to now get personal sure. and learn as much as I can about you in 60 seconds. Okay. So we're going to play a game Oops. called Hustle Time. Ooh, okay. And I need help. Jonathan, will you please bring in the cards? <gasps> <laughs> now, Sophia, we're going to mix the cards. Okay. I want you to feel really good about the cards. Okay. And give you an opportunity to do any mixing or cutting that you might like before we set the timer. Ooh, I'm nervous, guys. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, how this is going to work is we are going to see how many questions you can answer in 60 seconds. Okay. So if you want to think about your perfect answer, it's going to cost you time. Okay. I would say to do the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. And get through as many as you can, okay? You got it. So do we have a timer? Yeah, have a timer. Okay. Go. Binge watch or watch weekly? Watch weekly. Football, NFL or soccer? NFL. First place you'll visit when you retire? Um. New York. <laughs> Top quality you look for in an employee? Uh, enough sleep. Surf's up or cocktails poolside? Um, surf's up. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Best place you've traveled? Oh my God, oh my God, so many. Uh, Thailand. NYC tourist, help with directions or keep your on your own way? Of course help with directions, come on. First record you bought with your own money? Oh my god, I never bought a record though. <laughs> okay. First concert you ever saw? Coldplay? <laughs> Who is someone that refines, defines successful to you? My aunt. Favorite NYC tourist attraction? I'm done. I'm done, but what is it? What is it though? My face. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, the moment of 
truth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Woo! I know that you're always up for a challenge. And yeah. so before we head out today, I want you to give some advice to a new employee at GoDaddy. Okay. Our new employee is Noodle, the pug. Noodle has 50,000 followers on Instagram. Oh my God, Noodle, come to me, Noodle. But Noodle is a very picky eater. What advice would you give to somebody who's afraid of spicy food and afraid of trying new things? To be clear, this advice is for the people out there, not Noodle. <laughs> okay, if it's for people, I would say, listen, hot sauce doesn't kill you. I Google it all the time. I, I make my interns Google it all the time. Um, try it, it's fine. It's not gonna kill you. But noodle, don't, right? <laughs> like, no noodle. This was such a, such a fabulous conversation. I Thank love you it. for being here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Shannon Truex. Hit to subscribe and all of your entrepreneurial goals will come true. That is if your goals are to see more of Noodle and watch more episodes of School of Hustle.